Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So it is the day of my chemistry exam. I've been up early this morning revising, going through calculations and other bits and bobs and I think I'm like semi prepared. Like it literally could go either way. Like some stuff on the exam could come up, like a lot of it that I, I'm not so confident on, like, like pretty much anything else. But yeah, I've been working very hard this morning and last night and fingers crossed it will go average. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just about to go make some lunch. I'm gonna make some pasta to give me a lot of energy for the exam. It's a two hour exam from one till three, but usually I finish pretty early in exams so you can actually leave um, a university. I don't know if it happens for every uni. I think it's like, it differs depending on what uni you go to. But uh, University of Lincoln, you can leave your exam as long as it's not in the first um, first half an hour or last half an hour. So obviously if you have an hour exam, you can't leave at all. But other than that, you can. So yeah, I probably will leave early because I just generally finish exams quick. And I will update you when I get back. But for now, I'm just going to quickly make some lunch and then I will see you on my return. Fingers crossed, I'll be smiling. Right, so I'm literally in the best mood ever because I've just come out of that chemistry exam and I feel like it went okay like I genuinely felt like it went all right I really hope it did I feel like lots of my answers seem like legit like if it was a maths question it seemed like okay and the like theory questions were like things that I'd actually covered and gone over quite a lot especially yesterday so I feel like I've passed that exam not I'm not saying I did amazing in it but I feel like I'm quite confident in saying that I've passed which is which is great, so at least this is a massive change from the genetics exam. And now my my next one and my last one is forensic lab on Thursday. And like I said, this one's a bit of everything. So we've got a bit of like stuff to do with the crime scene, a bit about like standard operating procedures, and then like a bit of chemistry and quite a lot of math. So today, um, well now, I'm actually gonna have a little bit of a chill. Me and Hattie are gonna go to the post office because we have to collect our Augusta boxes. If you're new and you haven't seen us unbox them before, then look forward to that because it's so exciting. And if you use the discount codes below, I'm gonna pop them down there. Um, I'll pop mine and Hattie's down there. Get your first Augusta box for 5.99, I think, or 6.99, which is like half the price of what it usually is. And you literally get like 10 to 15 food items. The parcels like change every month. Sometimes there's a, sometimes there's a theme, sometimes there's not. Yeah, this box I think is based around the World Cup, so I think I feel like there's going to be lots of different like flavours and stuff, it's going to be very exciting. I always love it when there's lots of like sweet treats, lots of different drinks to try, and it kind of like pushes me to get out of my comfort zone, because I'm very like, eat the same things all the time, I'm quite a fussy eater, so I really like getting them every month, and it's so exciting to like unbox like a parcel where you don't actually know what it is, and you get so much for the value of money that you pay, so it's definitely worth it if you are into that sort of thing. And sometimes you get like different things depending on, and on if you've got allergies or like you just get different flavours. Like before me and Hattie have got like different flavoured pasta sauces, and different flavoured like drinks and stuff like that. I You also sometimes are lucky enough to get like a, a different product that's like bigger than everyone else. Like last month, if you saw it, I'll link it down below so you can see like what this sort of thing is if you want to watch more after this. Hattie and Megan both got like... um like chocolate peanut butter I think in like small sachets and I ended up getting this like massive thick big pot of it just I think it was just luck like it's nothing to do with paying more or anything so I was like oh great <laughs> and yeah um so we're gonna go collect those and I'm very happy come out my exam feeling gr good so woohoo at least it's not like a massive shit show I can I can get over like just having one bad exam because I wasn't expecting them all to go smoothly but Hopefully this Thursday will be fine, and then it will only be genetics that I have to worry about. <laughs> you can't see it, so. I'm asking myself, I don't know if I'm supposed to be Lily. Oh, God. Can you get this? Me? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting this. Oh, my God! I love oh, my them. God! Oh, I love them. They're my favourite! You've got chocolate chip brioches. Pitch? Have you had pitch before? No. Oh, that's so good. This is incredible. I love it. Oh, you guys are the ones that you had chocolate chip brioches. Oh, I love those ones. That's so good. We've got two! What? We've got... Wait, we've got two. We've got one each. We've got... Yes! Woohoo! Okay. We've got chocolate chip brioches. These are the ones I love. Really? They're the ones I have to school like every day. And these have like chocolate filled. Someone else picked something. Oh my god! Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah! Wait, look. Wait, this. 
Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, there's two kids that thing. Kids that bite as well. Oh, oh no. Wow. Yay. What? what? Yay. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, by the way, I've got Megan on FaceTime. There's 20 in here. So we've got 20 Kit Kat senses, which are like mini little Kit Kats. Then we've got double chocolate, salted caramel, and hazelnut. And then we've got Kit Kat bites, which are white chocolate. Pat, you go. I don't know, I think this is my thing, but after that, oh, okay. I'm gonna find out something to do. Okay, right. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a drink. An aloe Ooh. vera drink. Ooh. 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 That sounds healthy. Rich in vitamin C. It's supposed to be amazing. People just always have them. Aloe vera drink. Ooh. Ooh. Peculiar textures. Oh, you know, I've had something like this before. It looks like gel. Yeah, I feel like I've tasted it and can feel it like going down my throat. <laughs> We've got more energy drink. Yes. We've got another Lucas Aid. Yeah, I love Lucas Aid original. Oh, good. Woo I think I had the original. Oh, I love the original. Because they're orange. But the sport ones are my favourite. I don't even like, know this is this. Is, wait. This is the original. I thought yeah, like the orange one was original. Yeah. What? Well, what have you got? I've got this. Oh yeah, you said you're... And um, I don't... This, I don't have it! I don't have it! I don't have it! got something else. I don't have it. You always get different stuff to us. <laughs> it's a Latin American thing. We've got a whole... We've got a mix. Right, we're making tortillas. We're making fajitas tonight. Oh my god, the tortillas have coconut in them. <gasps> coconut and black pepper. Oh my god, amazing. And this is creamy chicken curry season. Oh yeah. Oh, and the, oh, this. Yeah, bring in the chicken. Wow. We've had some of this before, but this is like a Caribbean -y mix. And then we have 12 coconut and black pepper top, soft tortillas. I know, yeah. What have you guys got them? Oh, there's another drink in here. I've missed out. You have to email them. Oh, no, you've got that. I haven't got what that. What is this? I, I have different. Again. I don't have the popcorn deep, the same as you. It's always you that gets something. I've got two bottles. They look alcoholic. <gasps> oh, fuck off. <laughs> she always gets the lucky one. She always gets better stuff than us. She always gets the best stuff. <laughs> she got fucking the fruit ciders. Oh, oh. I know. There, there's like an, an apple and a strawberry one. Wow. <laughs> we got like five little pieces of popcorn. Yeah, I really <laughs> like the sweet popcorn. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, this is another tomato sauce. Another tomato sauce, eh? Yeah, that I don't like. You can have oh, one. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll give it to Mum. Oh, I've got the parmesan one this time. Oh, and I've got the other one, the normal one that you did. Yeah, mine's got parmesan in there. Yeah, it's my sauce. Yeah. So, Degusta Box have niced me. Again. Again. <laughs> so, this is a little overview. So, we've got two lots of brioche. She's the lucky one. <laughs> The chosen one. <laughs> the chosen one. These guys are being bitter. <laughs> Too fair I would be, not gonna yeah, lie. You would be. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> so two lots of chocolate brioche. Some pasta sauce. Some tortillas and creamy chicken curry seasoning. Oh, I don't need We've got two though? ciders, which are strawberry and dry apple flavoured. This, which is an aloe vera drink, interesting. These, which I'm so excited about, Kit Kat senses. White chocolate Kit Kat bites. And a Lucas Aid. <laughs> Woohoo! So, um, I've just been watching my own videos, <laughs> being a little vain bitch, and been watching some of my like old main channel videos literally just before I came to uni, like my 19th birthday just before I came to uni and I'm so different like Jesus I think I th definitely think vlogging has made me be more myself and just like chilled when I speak because I feel like I'm so forced and really I don't know it just doesn't seem like me and I feel like I was just really awkward around the camera or something but yeah I've just been watching my own videos for ages I've been replying to some emails getting back to 
some bits and pieces. I think I might write a blog post for tonight just because I kind of fancy like writing and I might do like my Milan post all about like the best places to go to in Milan possibly something along those lines and using like the best photos from the trip and yeah I sort of like want a chilled evening although I'm, I'm gonna go over my cue cards later for forensic lab so got my yellow cards oh I can put my green cards up there goodbye chemistry right bye chemistry I've put all like my cue cards up here but yeah I've also I also feel like I might do a bit of packing this evening. I kind of fancy it. I've also got this adorable little red shirt dress from Pretty Little Thing. Another delivery from Pretty Little Thing because they're doing, um, they're currently doing 50 swimwear things for five pounds. They did it with dresses for like a while and someone requested like swimwear. So they're like, they've put 50 items of swimwear, like in sets as well, like if they're bikinis, together for five pounds each. So I end up buying like three different things. I bought a swimsuit and two bikinis for £15 altogether. Like how insane is that? But they're going to be coming up in a haul. I'm not really sure if I'm going to try them on in the haul because I'm not so body confident right now. But there will be photos when I actually go on holiday to Greece <laughs> um, in July. I will hopefully have a half decent body by then as well because I'm going to go ham at the gym in June. just gone through all of my cue cards and I'm feeling quite confident so I feel like I'm just going to go through the past paper that I have online and see how many questions I get right. I won't have to do as much revision and be as intense and I might be able to have like a little break tomorrow. <laughs> So I've just been like having a packing evening. I've packed like another load of my stuff into like loads of boxes that my mum brought down the other week. And my bedroom is slowly becoming really empty and it's really sad. So I've just been packing and me and her had like a two hour chat in her room. <laughs> like a little heart to heart. I'm gonna go to bed now that I've been packing for ages. It's just gone midnight so I better get some sleep and so I can wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog should be fun because I'm going to meet Carrie. It'll probably be the last time I see her, which is so sad before um, I go home. So that's sad, but we're going to do lots of like outfit picks and get lots of content done, which is great. I'm not feeling very stressed about my Thursday exam, which is fab because I've gone through the content earlier and I was like, well, lots of the stuff overlap and I'm quite confident with the stuff is on the module handbook and stuff. So I think I'm good. And yeah, so tomorrow... I'll be with Carrie, we'll probably do lots of fun things and we're going to try and finish 13 Reasons Why tomorrow evening after Hattie and Megan come back from their last exam too so we'll update you on how we feel. I hope you liked today's vlog, make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy it, subscribe down below if you're new and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new vlog. Bye! Bye.